This is my comic pull list from March 2nd, 2016. Hello. <laughs> Starting off, it's Angel and Faith, Season 10, Issue 24. Illyria and the sentient, newly embodied magic of Magic Town duke it out. No spoilers, but I think this issue pretty much proves what I was talking about in the last issue. Um, Fred and Illyria just really don't have much of a purpose. But the issue itself was pretty engaging, and I look forward to seeing how they wrap up the story arc in the next issue. Next up is Army of Darkness, Furious Road, number one. So it's 20 years in the future, and Deadites have taken over the world. So in this first issue, we follow a ragtag gang of supernatural beings who are trying to track down the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. This comic is okay, and it's only a five issue run, so I'll probably stick it out. Next up is Darth Vader, issue number 17. So this is a continuation of the Shu Torin War story arc that we were on in the last issue, and Vader is trying to quell a rebellion by the planet's ore barons. Again, I'm not overly thrilled with this comic, but it's bearable. Next, it's Walking Dead, issue number 152. In the last issue, Eugene fixed the radio and made contact with someone. Here, he tries to figure out if his new CB buddy is friend or foe, and an enemy of Rick's takes action. Okay. <laughs> Another good issue. Next up, it's Doctor Who, the 11th Doctor, Year 2, issue number 6. And I'm still not caught up on this title. <laughs> but I am caught up on The Midnighter, issue number 10. So The Midnighter again does battle with the Suicide Squad, but this time they bring a friend. It's a good issue and overall a great comic. Uh, last time I just really couldn't get into it. This time, I powered through the first three issues, and then I was hooked. Midnighter is a very interesting character. Uh, he is like one of the only out superheroes. And I don't mean out in the gay sense, which he is, of course, but I mean out like he's Midnighter 24-7. He doesn't really have an alter ego. So everybody he meets knows he's Midnighter, even when he's not wearing his costume, which is something you don't see in other comics. Sadly, Midnighter is one of several comics that are reportedly on the chopping block before DC Comics Rebirth. But let's hope that like some of these other characters, he'll get moved to another title so we'll still get to enjoy him. Well, that's it for this week. See you guys later.